It's not just the memories of last night's Missoula concert sparking discussion of Pearl Jam tonight. The release of a political poster depicting a burning White House is drawing a lot of fire online and maybe seeing some fans turn their back on the legendary group. There was no mistake Monday's Pearl Jam concert in Washington Grizzly Stadium had political overtones, complete with rock to vote signups and another show backing Senator John Tester's re-election bid. But it was this poster that was sold at the venue last night that started generating debate this afternoon after it caught the attention of conservative media news outlets. The poster was drawn by Delaware artist Bobby Draws Skulls Brown and posted Pearl Jam's official Twitter account as well as the artist's Instagram feed. That post, which was later taken down, tagged several parts of the poster, including a flying John Tester jetting over the White House, destruction on a tractor. The poster got some support, but by this evening, most responders were condemning the band and bassist Jeff Amon for the violence and what appeared to be the depiction of a skeleton of President Trump in the foreground. Tester's opponent, Matt Rosendale, was quick to jump on the controversy, calling the poster disgusting and reprehensible, calling on the senator to renounce the image. There's been no statement from the Tester campaign as yet.